Hey Ben, can we untether the iPhone 4? Can we jailbreak the iPad 2? Yo English, can we jailbreak the 4S yet, you English gah? I've got an original iPhone and I wanted to jailbreak it. Can I? What? Alright guys, that's a bit of fun. Let's start the show. You know what this video is about. Check the title and the description and let's roll the tape. Happening, my fellow YouTubers. Thanks for joining me today. I'm showing your support. I hope you like that little comical intro. I thought I hadn't done one in a while, so I thought I'd tickle your taste buds and, uh, you know, make things a little funnier for a change. Anyway, moving on. What the name, what the idea behind this video is? I've had a lot of questions recently about how to jailbreak the iPhone 4 Airs and when's the jailbreak for the iPad 2 coming out on the current 5 point plus firmware. Well, I know that there isn't one available right now, and I feel your pain, trust me I do. Especially being as I just broke my iPhone 4, so hey, I thought this little video is going to help you uh, meet the needs and hopefully, you know, tide, tide uh, the heavy waves for a while. What it is, it's a customization video that enables you to make tweaks to your desktop, or sorry, springboard, and manipulate certain settings via different apps and do things that you would normally have done with Cydia. Okay, and what you're gonna need is go into the App Store and download an app called Icon Project. It's 99 cents, and it literally is what it says on the box. It is an application that enables you to make your own apps. All right, and it's really cool because you can not only, let's go into the app real quick. All right, what the heck's going on? For some reason, it's having a breakdown on me. Anyway, okay, we're coming to the app. It is an iPhone app, so and I'm on an iPad right now, so it may look just like yours, ah, oh, here's a, sorry, let's just refresh this project real quick, okay, here we go. What it is, it gives you full customization ability to make an app of your choice via uh, predefined sets or presets in the application, but they're really cool ones, and it's just a great application, and let me show you how it works. So you start off with the basic app icon outline, you can either have the light, as a normal app store apps do or not, add yourself a border, it's, uh, there's all a whole array of them. Go and check them out. All of the ones that you can get, but I'm going to keep this one simple. For this example, I'm going to make a brightness app. Okay, so it's like a settings app. Here you have a selection. Choose your own color. It's brightness. So uh, let's make it yellow. Boom. And let's make it red. Actually, what, what's he doing? What's he doing? Let's make it red. There we go. That's better. All right. And let's add our own text because that's else you can do brightness is the name of it so let's make it fit so bright oh hang on uh, brizzle there we go and you can even change the font which is really cool change the font all right and once you've done that you can either use a picture to add an icon or in this case which is what makes it unique they have their own stamps you see, you choose from the whole array of different stamps that there are available for you. Uh, I'm thinking mine is a brightness one, so I want something bright. Uh, let's go ahead and use the, oh, okay, let's use the exclamation mark. That works well, doesn't it? Stands out. And then you can also put a stamp on there. Brightness, so let's put the twinkles. Nice, doesn't that look sweet? Or you can put that, that looks better. Look at that, that's a cool look. See how it works, people? You know, this is really cool. And you can see I've made one before. I was actually trying to testing it out. Oh no! Oh, fail! I don't believe it. I just went and bloody balls up my app. Anyway, okay, well there's one that I made earlier. That was a fail. You know, and what we're gonna do is, it was gonna do the different type of app that it can be. It can either be an SMS, a mail, a URL, or a, a person contact. And this is what makes it cool, is that you can use URLs. And go ahead and check the description, because I've got all sorts of URLs listed. These are obviously case sensitive. So this is one that I'm going to use to create a brightness app. So let's go ahead and create that. And create the app. You can use it to create an email or a text app. It's really cool, you know, and the idea behind it. And it replaces the hidden apps like SP settings, you know? That's what a lot of people miss when it comes to their customized. Oh wait, what am I doing? Follow you on screen. See it says hit the shortcuts and then add tap to screen. Add home screen. So add to home screen. 
Alright, there's our app in the corner there. See with the with the URL and there it goes. There's our app right there on screen. Okay, I didn't change the bloody title of it. I should have changed that while I was uh, let me just do something. Well, you know what, you get the idea. See, I would normally have changed the name of what the app was actually called and I could have called it Brightness and and actually not perhaps given the app a name in the in the actual uh, sorry about this, I'm failing right now. And not actually have given the name of the app while I was creating it. Okay, so then you hit the app and as it does its magic. It should just open up in the brightness section. Boom! There we go. See, and it opens it straight up in the brightness section. This works perfectly on your iPhone. And there we go. Job done. Lovely jubbly. Easy tweak. Fills that void for the current time being for not having a jailbreak. I thought that was quick and easy. You know, I like to help you guys out a little bit, you know? It's just softening the blow until we get a jailbreak. All right, so you know what time it is, guys. It's time to rock out. This is English Twist. Signing out. Take it easy. Are you ready for the